Hello, how to solve for a in this equation a raised to power 3 minus a square is equal to 448 solution. Then here we have a raised to power 3 minus a square is equal to 448. This is the same thing as a raised to power 3 minus a square minus 448 is equal to 0. Now, here we know that 448 need to be split into the power of 3 and power of 2. Now, let's consider this raised to power 3 minus c square. Here we have 6 raised to power 3 is equal to 6 multiplied by 6 multiplied by 6. This is equal to then 2, 1, 6 and c square is equal to 36. Then if you subtract this from this, this will give you 180. So this is not possible. Now, also let's see 7. 7 to the power of 3 is equal to 7 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 7. This is equal to 343 then 7 square this is equal to 7 multiplied by 7 and this is 49 so let's subtract this this will give you 294 now let's consider 8 raised to power 3, this is equal to 8 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 8, this is equal to 512, and 8 square is equal to 8 multiplied by 8, this is 64. So if you subtract the 2, this will give you 448. Therefore, 448 is equal to 512 minus 64. Now let's put this into this. We have A raised to power 3 minus a square minus 5, 1, 2, minus 64 is equal to 0. Then here we have a raised to power 3 minus a square minus 5, 1, 2, plus 64 is equal to 0. Now this is a raised to power 3 minus a square minus 8 raised to power 3 plus 8 square is equal to 0. Now let's pair this to this and this to this. Here we have a raised to power 3 minus 8 raised to power 3. Then here is minus a square and this is minus 8 square is equal to 0. If you open the bracket with this minus, this become positive. Then Take note of this that if you have 
s raised to power 3 minus y raised to power 3 is equal to 0. This is s minus y multiplied by s square plus xy plus y square is equal to 0. Also, if you have s square minus y square, this is equal to s plus y multiplied by s minus y. Now, where s is equal to a and then y is equal to 8. So, this can be written as a minus 8 bracket, bracket we have a square plus 8a plus 8 square. Then let's consider this minus here is a plus 8 then bracket 8 minus a everything is equal to 0. Here 8 minus a is common. Let's bring it out. We have a, a minus 8 is common. Let's bring it out. Here a minus 8 is common. Let's bring it out. We have a minus 8 bracket bracket if you divide this by this we have a square plus 8a plus 8 square that is 64 then minus if you divide this by this we have a plus 8 is equal to 0 then here we have a minus 8 bracket bracket a square plus 8a plus 64 minus a minus 8 is equal to 0. This is a minus 8 bracket bracket a square 8a minus a. This is plus 7a then 64 minus 8 that is plus 56 is equal to 0. There are two cases here. The first case is a minus 8 is equal to 0 and the second case is a square plus 7a plus 56 is equal to 0. Then from here, a is equal to 8. This is the first value of a. And here, this is a quadratic equation. Let's solve this using quadratic general formula. a is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then from this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 7, c is equal to 56. Then a is equal to minus bracket 7 plus or minus square root of 7 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 56. Everything divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Then here, A is equal to minus 7 plus or minus square root of 7 square. That is 49 minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 56. That is 224. Then everything divided by 2 multiplied by 1, that is 2. 
Then here we have a is equal to minus 7 plus or minus square root of 49 minus 224. That is minus 175. Then everything divided by 2. Note that 175, this is divisible by 5. Here is 35. And this is also divisible by 5. Then this is 7. And this is divisible by 7, 1. So this is 5 square multiplied by 7. Now we have A is equal to minus 7 plus or minus square root of 5 square multiply by 7, multiply by minus 1. Then everything divided by 2. But square root of minus 1 is equal to i. Then we have a is equal to minus 7 plus or minus, this is 5i square root of 7 over 2. Therefore, our final answer are a1 is equal to 8, then a2 is equal to minus 7 plus 5i square root of 7, and then a3 is equal to minus 7 minus 5i square root of 7. This are the final answer. You can see that we have one real root and then two complex roots. To check, we have to check using this real root. That is, we have a raised to power 3 minus a square is equal to 4, 4, 8. Then, when a is equal to 8, we have 8 raised to power 3 minus 8 square must be equal to 4, 4, 8. Now, 8 raised to power 3, this is 5, 1, 2 minus 8 square, that is 64 must be equal to 4, 4, 8. Therefore, 5, 1, 2 minus 64, this is 4, 4, 8, is equal to 4, 4, 8, which is true. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.